Now let's see the applications of a valence bond theory. Nickel atom. Here is the electronic configuration of nickel atom, which got an atomic number. It's 28 and mass is 58.69. You got the 3D orbital of this one and with the 4s2 here. Nickel 2 plus in the sense the 2 electrons are removed. So it's gone. The 4s2 is gone. And this becomes an unpaired electrons. With this one we got NH3 ammonia merged. Which got the paired one. This is sp3 hybridization. The number of unpaired electrons here is 2. So, mu s is equal to root of 2 into 2 plus 2, that's 2.83 bose magnon. Since the hybridization is sp3, the geometry of the molecule is tetrahedral. Another possible geometry for the four coordinated complex is the square planar configuration involving D. Yes, P2 hybridization. So here is a one D. Yes, P2 hybridization. The ligand Cn minus is a powerful ligand. Hence, it forces the unpaired electrons to pair up in the D orbital. Hence, this complex ion does not contain unpaired electrons. So obviously, it is dimagnetic. The geometry of the molecule is a square planar once again. Let's discuss on the octahedral complexes. Iron atom got an electronic configuration of a 3D6 4S2. If you remove this Fe2 plus 4S is gone. So Fe F6 fluorine you got a four unpaired electron and fluorine you got this one the number of unpaired electron is four mu is equal to root of four into four plus two that's four into twenty six so four into six is twenty four root of twenty four is a four point nine zero Bose momentum or magneton this molecule is paramagnetic and the geometry of the molecule is octahedral I am trying to check it out with the FeCn6 ferrocyanide ion complex. The Cn minus cyanide ligand is a powerful ligand. It forces the unpaired electrons in 3D level to pair up inside. Hence, the species have no unpaired electrons and the molecule is diamagnetic. The molecular geometry is octahedral. Let me discuss and tell you the defects of valence bond theory. It gives a lot of great things, but there are some defects. So, although valence bond theory was the principal way in which chemists visualized the coordination compounds until 1950s, it has fallen into disfavor due to its inability to account for various reasons. It couldn't provide the details of magnetic properties, the electronic properties, and spectroscopic properties of the compounds. 